you know, after three weeks of this statewide lockdown, I've had some opportunities to do things I haven't done in a long time. One of those things was from way back in the past. I found my old postage stamp collection. Boy, doesn't that sound like an exciting hobby. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have much of a life when I was a kid. But collecting stamps was kind of fun. We'd go to the store and buy an envelope with all these different beautiful postage stamps from around the world on it. Then you get it home and you find out that the top layer that they showed you was the really good ones. And then below that was all the just common ones. But it was still exciting. It was like a grab bag. You never knew what you were going to get inside. And we'd sit on the kitchen table and try to fill all these spaces with stamps. I always hoped that one day I would have them all filled. <laughs> that didn't work out. There was actually a store in town in Grand Rapids that sold coins and stamps to collectors. It was called the Bookery right downtown. My dad was a coin collector, so we would go down there once in a while and buy coins. And I always went over to the showcase, and I would admire the really cool-looking stamps. And there was one set that I always wanted. It was from Poland. It was like paintings of dinosaurs. One day, I saved up enough money when I was down there with my dad. I actually bought that set of stamps. So when I opened this album, I had to go right there and find out if I still have them. Sure enough, there they are. They're pretty cool. Then some years ago, I thought, hmm, I bet you there's people selling these things on eBay. Yeah, sure enough, for a very small sum of money, I purchased someone else's stamp collection, and this guy did his due diligence. Man, he's got almost all of his spaces filled. Yeah, I know it's cheating, but it's still fun to look at all these stamps, even though I didn't collect these particular ones. I got a story about another type of stamp collecting. And I'm going to share that story tomorrow at 11 a.m. on Facebook. And I'm going to relate that story to the Easter story. I hope you'll find the time to tune in. See you tomorrow.